Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making some snacks for Easter. The first thing we're going to be needing is some uh, granola bars. I wanted to use granola bars because I wanted to go for something different and this is a brand that I use. I love them. And then I'm going to be using some candy melts and they are white. I'm going to be using some gel food colors, orange, electric pink, mint green, real blue, real purple, yellow, and then black. And my black, as you can see, is built-in. And then I'm going to be using a brush, but you can use a toothpick as well. I'm using this one, it's from Wilton, and I got it on a set. You can get pretty much brushes like this from art and craft stores. This snack idea is pretty simple. Basically, I just melted my candy melts following the instructions on the back. And then I'm just going to make the illusion that I kind of dipped my granola bar onto my candy melt. For that, I'm going to be using a spoon, and I'm just going to cover like half of my granola bar because I feel like it's cooler to just see like half granola and half where the design is gonna be. So first for my carrot design I'm just going to start with my um, opening my gel food coloring and I'm just going to be working with my brush again you can use a toothpick for this part as well and I'm just going to pretty much draw my carrot first drawing a kind of like triangle then filling the whole thing you can use if you want to go funky with the colors you can use them in any other colors you like but i went for like the the classic color and then for the green part i'm going in with my green um and the brush and finally for this design i'm just going in with my black food coloring and my brush and i'm just going to add some stripes or just some dimension pretty much and that's it for like the first design the second design is going to be the bunny so first we're going to be painting the nose of the bunny and that's going to be this um, triangle with my pink food coloring and then the ears part i'm just going to be drawing two pink lines with a bit of an angle and then I'm going to be drawing the rest of the face as you see me doing right now. I was looking at an image of Bunny while I was doing this because I feel it's easier to just have some sort of image as a reference. So that's it for the bunny, cute and simple. I'm just going to be moving on to the next one. For the next one, I'm going to be painting four eggs. The one, the first one is going to be pink, and then I'm going to be adding a blue one. To the one side, I'm just going to be adding a yellow one. And then for the fourth one, I'm going to be adding a blue one. And I wrote as well, Happy Easter, but I lost the footage of that. But it's pretty much uh, writing with my black gel food coloring and my brush. And that's it for the third design. Now let's move on to the fourth and final design. This one is pretty simple. I'm just going to be, well, adding, I don't really know how to call them. They are not even dots. This blah of colors pretty much everywhere going with all the colors that I used. And yeah, uh, those are pretty much the ideas that I wanted to share with you. It's kind of like a last minute idea, but I think they look cute anyways. This is a project that I think kids will love to do, you know, on uh, Easter or just before the day. And yeah, I hope you like them. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff, baking, DIYs, etc. And don't forget to share this one. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Easter. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.